massive tunnelling machine is vital to the future of many in the West Midlands. It's part of a multi-million pound scheme to secure water supply to Birmingham and beyond. And earlier today, well, there was a moment when it re-emerged into the daylight, completing almost two kilometres of tunnel, which it had been working on since May this year. Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, was there. So here we are, engineers, local residents and me, nervously waiting for the tunnelling machine to re-emerge from under this Welsh hill. Right on cue and on target, it reappeared. And this is just the front end of 120 metres of tunnelling power with a crew of 12. There's a small canteen, the microwave, kettle, um, so they have the breaks in there, they take the food in there, hot and cold drinks, there's a toilet on there, so yeah, all the facilities. And they're down there for 12 hours a day so, and they don't come back up, so we've got to obviously provide the, the, these welfare facilities for them. And here are the men from the machine, climbing out of the machine itself, through the boring disc and into daylight. Just over a century ago, another group of workers created the original Victorian pipeline that links the Elam Valley Reservoir in Wales to Birmingham. It's a vital link that supplies 330 million litres of water to the city every day. So behind me, behind those concrete slabs, is the original Victorian pipe that links Birmingham to Elam Valley and brings all the water in. And that bit down there is a little bit dodgy. So this new pipe will bypass that section and then early next year, in the spring maybe, they'll link that up to the existing pipeline and keep the water flowing to Birmingham. The aqueduct is over 100 years old now and as you can imagine it's in fantastic condition but it is starting to need um, a little bit more maintenance than we can do in the few days that we can shut it down for. So we're having to start doing bigger and bigger projects um, this being the biggest project that we've ever had to do and all to keep that water coming from Wales into Birmingham. So will the people of Birmingham notice any changes in their water? Not at all, no. So the water supply that goes through to Birmingham from Elan is exactly the same water as it ever has been. Um, once we finish here today, we're then moving the tunnelling machine up to Nantmel, which we will start in the spring, the new tunnel there. And then finally, at the end of next year, we'll be moving down to Knighton, where we'll start the final tunnel. Yes, this is just the start for this machine. Two more bypass tunnels are planned. But after that, the pipe linking Wales to Birmingham, a century-old triumph of Victorian engineering, will continue to keep the city afloat. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Bloodfur in Wales.